This is part two of a tutorial on simple regression. I'm going to cover the basic descriptive statistics, uh, both univariate and bivariate, as well as the procedures for assessing assumptions. Some of these procedures may go beyond what you have learned in the course, but the purpose here is to give you a deeper understanding of regression analysis. So we're going to begin with uh, a very quick video on uh, computing the descriptive statistics. So I select Analyze Descriptive Statistics Frequencies and then place both variables into the variables block. In statistics, I selected mean, medium, standard deviation, minimum, maximum, and the standard error, as well as skewness, and click continue. I also wanted to create the histograms, and I also am going to have the normal curve superimposed. So that created that output, and uh, we'll go over that right quickly. So we see the uh, descriptive information for education and income and uh, just to kind of check ourselves here we know how the standard error of the mean is computed standard deviation divided by the square root of n well n is 10 and square root of 10 is about 3 and uh, the standard deviation is 3.6 so we know that the standard error of about 1 should be correct we also see that uh, the skewness values are not uh, extreme. Uh, we would want uh, a skewness of around zero for a theoretical normal distribution. I always include the minimum and maximum just to be sure that uh, I'm not uh, dealing with some outliers or that may have resulted from data errors, data input errors. So here is the uh, histogram with the normal curve superimposed and uh, education looks nicely uh, normally distributed uh, whereas income has a slight positive skew. Remember that uh, skewness is in the direction of the tail and so in this distribution here the tail is toward the positive end of the distribution. So now we're going to uh, test statistically whether the distributions uh, deviate from a theoretical normal distribution. So uh, to do this, I click Analyze, Nonparametric Test, Legacy Dialog, and then the One Sample KS. I move both of the variables into the Test Variables box. I be, am sure that uh, Normal is selected, and then I click OK. So here's the results of that analysis. Uh, remember that in order to test a hypothesis uh, using an alpha level of 0.05, uh, we're going to be looking for uh, p-values that would be less than 0.05. If they're not, then in this case, there's no difference between the theoretical normal distribution and these two sample distributions. And in fact, uh, we see that the asymptotic significance, uh, which is another word for a p-value, in both of these cases, education and income, they're greater than 0.05. Therefore, we can conclude that uh, there's no difference in the uh, sample distributions as compared to a theoretical normal distribution, which is another way of saying they're normally distributed. Uh, the next piece of information uh, is to see if the two variables are correlated and we can see that uh, income and education are related with an R value of 0.923. I've grayed out the other information because we'll come to that a little bit later. Now then, uh, we're going to want to create a scatter plot. Uh, so this uh, tutorial will go through the graph legacy dialog box, scatter dot chart, uh, scatter plot, and then we have both of the variables listed, one on the X, one on the Y axis, and we click OK. And uh, this will give us a 
uh, scatter plot, and what we're looking for here is just to see if there's any kind of a pattern uh, with these data, and uh, do they appear to be linearly related? And at first blush, they do appear to be positively related, and they appear to um, be strongly related. The R value of 0.93 uh, confirms that they are uh, related very strongly. So to compute a correlation analysis uh, in SPSS, I have a little uh, video here, analyze, correlate, bivariate, move both of the variables into the variables box, click Pearson because these are um, uh, both scale variables and so the Pearson R is the correct correlation coefficient. And here we see that in fact they are uh, significantly related, uh, this point zero 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 uh, is less than uh, 0 0.05, therefore we can conclude that education and income are significantly related. Uh, the next uh, section is part three where we're going to cover uh, assessing the assumptions.